What is up guys, Steve here and welcome to another video. In today's adventure, I got my buddy Nathaniel and Samong. They're actually doing a high country buck hunt. Um, I got a few days off work, so I'll be joining them. As you guys can probably tell, we're in absolutely beautiful country. They've actually been up here for a few days already. Um, Nathaniel actually shot his buck, which is super exciting. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, make sure you check out Samong's channel. I'll leave it down here below, but we got two more tags, so we'll see what happens. Um, it was just a beautiful drive up here, you guys. As you can probably see behind me, we just got absolutely gorgeous views and we're packing our packs right now. We're going to hit the trailhead and we'll see you guys on the trail. Well, as you guys can see behind me, we got nothing but miles and miles of wilderness. So let's get in there. These feet are going to hurt in a couple days. Alright guys, well, we made it to our first glassing point. We're just going to spend some time over here kind of glassing and we're working our way to camp right now. So, just how hunt goes from now on. Just, we're back where we believe the animals are and we're just going to start breaking this country apart. It is absolutely massive, massive country. Like, it's overwhelming. This is my first kind of hunt away from home, from Eastern Washington woods that I'm used to hunting. And it's just very different. It's a lot to get used to. I'm not used to so much open terrain. Like he could spend hours just breaking this down and still miss a bunch of things. Well you guys, it is toasty out today. According to the boys, this is the warmest day they've had here. It's about 60 degrees and it's actually pretty toasty. And We're quieter back in here. Um, we're actually off the trail now and we're just kind of bushwhacking up this mountain. and. Um, this is the last spot of water source. We're going to be camping basically way up that way, so we're just going to chug as much water as we can, fill all the water bottles up, and start hiking. Next time we'll see you guys, we'll be at camp. Nate's nice enough to fill up our water bottles for us. Thank you, Nate. So I gotta be honest to you guys, I feel really spoiled on this hunt. Um, I already said it, but the boys have been up here for three days already. I just showed up, I had to work. Um, our schedules didn't quite match up and I feel very, I feel like this is a guided hunt for me because they already got the tent up there all set up. They've already scouted the area, figured out where the deer are. I'm just kinda walking in here, enjoying the woods, enjoying the beautiful scenery. Nate's in filling up my water bottles. That's what good friends are for. All right, you guys, well, we made it to camp. Um, it was quite a bit of a hike. Definitely did some bushwhacking, but it's just absolutely gorgeous country out here, you guys. It's just a beautiful day. As you guys can see, the tent's already all set up. I didn't help with that. And we got just beautiful country behind us. We can glass tonight, so that's what we'll be doing. We're pretty hungry right now. We'll probably cook up some quick lunch, and we're gonna glass this evening and hopefully find another book. Let me show you guys Nate's book. I'll let you guys tell him about it himself. Here you guys go. Like I said earlier, if you guys want to see this buck shot, check out Samong's channel, but there's the man himself. What do you think of your first mule deer, Nate? Pretty stoked. Yeah, it's a nice buck, man. Yeah. I think it's cool. I couldn't be happier for a first mule. Samong looks pretty excited, too. I was. Nate was so unsure of his shot. I replayed the shot. I was like, dude, that's a dead buck. Nate's like, are you sure? Are you sure? I was like, he's a dead buck, Nate. Yeah, you guys should see Nate's reaction. He was he was in disbelief when he found it. Didn't go 20. You gotta love these stories, guys. These memories you make here, they just last for years. When That's you guys you guys get a quick story of this hunt, but we'll probably talk about it for about 15 more years. So <laughs> just how it goes. I don't feel like boiling water right now, so I just got some sausage links here. And then I'm gonna have a pop tart. Perfect lunch. I think the foul really left open. Like I went to, I, I went, I was on the screen a little bit, then it popped off. Whoa, no, 
you don't unscrew the hood. I think Nate just wasted like half of our water. <laughs> and our nearest water source is literally like a mile down a mountain, so we're just making fun of them. That's what friends are for, right? How many dudes does it take to figure out a water bladder? Apparently at least three. Well you guys, after our wonderful lunch and hiking in the morning, I, we kind of got tired, so we just took a nap. You guys can see I just kind of threw my tarp out and got a little pillow and took a little nap ski for about an hour and it is now 4.30, so we're gonna pack up camp and we're gonna go glass the hillside behind us. So before we even left camp, we actually just spotted a bear about 650 yards across on that hillside away from us. And it's probably one of the biggest bears I've personally seen in the wild before, so it's pretty cool. It's a big boy. I heard about these cascade bears just being super fat and then it was a black bear and you could just see fat hanging off his back. It's kind of cool and he's got a bunch of crows harassing him right now, so it's kind of neat to watch. But none of us have a bear tech, so we'll go look for deer. We might try and sneak around and just get a better look at him. Alright you guys, well, we hiked down here. We're not very far from camp, maybe half a mile or so. As you guys saw, we watched that bear for a while, kind of watched the hillside. And we're just going to watch this hillside in front of us here until it gets dark and hopefully spot some deer. It's kind of cool up here, it's just that quiet, so no wind tonight, just perfect temperature. It's just beautiful country. I think I'm kind of in love with it, even though it's my first time out here. So, hopefully, we get smong on a buck here. This is Ding Dong over here. <laughs> we guys starting to get dark out. We're going to start making our way back to camp and then kind of settle in for the night. And we're just going to work our way back really, really slow in hopes of seeing something. So, we saw nothing tonight except for that bear. So, kind of. Hit ourselves in the head for not having a bear tag, and nevertheless, just a beautiful, beautiful, peaceful evening up here. All right, you guys, well, we're all back at camp. Plan now is just to cut up some meat from. Nathaniel's deer he shot yesterday morning, so we're gonna make some tenderloins and mix it up with some of the food we brought. And we're all pretty hungry, so we're gonna get to it. Let's season these bad boys up. Got some good old Alpine touch from home. Because mountain house meals are great, but if you can spice them up, they're a lot better. Nothing like a fresh tenderloin. Well, you guys, I'm, not, I'm done packing the butter around. It was brought in for one reason, one reason only, and that's what we're gonna use it for. Let's go. Oh yeah. A little bit of grass in there. It's a true backcountry meal. The plate. Should you pour a little butter on them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're burning enough calories right now, I think we'll be alright. Looks good to me. Everybody grab a piece. All right, Nate, have some of your deer. Tell us what you think. <laughs> Is it good? Wow. Man. Check it out, you guys. Ready to go in, Steve? Oh, yeah. This thing was running around oh. like 60 yards, 600 yards behind us. It's cool. Dude, you got to try it. Mmm, it's perfect. That's unbelievable. We didn't overcook it. Just to show you guys, here's our setup for the night. As you guys can see, here's the tent. We've got all our gear over here. 
It's gonna be a man witch. Simon's over here already sleeping. Hi. Nate's over there. Yo. And I'm gonna be in the middle. Here's my spot right here, so I might get cozied up here in a sec. Super excited for my sleep new sleeping bag, guys. So Stone Glacier zero degree bag, so it's gonna be my first night sleeping in it. Pretty stoked. It's always fun to get new gear. Alright guys, it's been a pleasure. It's been a great day. We're all gonna go to bed, so we'll see y'all in the morning. We just got up, it's the next morning. And you can actually get out of the tent before us. Looks up on the hillside across us and he's got a big old buck up there. Alright guys, so those couple bucks we saw were actually not legal bucks. It's kind of cool that they're just playing around up there on the hill, just running back and forth, chasing each other. But obviously, we can't shoot them. It has to be three point minimum, at least on one side. So, we're just going to keep blasting for now. It's kind of chilly this morning. The wind's rolling through the valley, so we're pretty bundled up. Gosh, it's a beautiful morning now. you guys for breakfast today got some oatmeal and I sprinkled a little protein powder in there just to for an extra source of protein and make a little coffee so I'm gonna enjoy that now all right you guys so we spent the morning glassing didn't really see anything so this monk's gonna go work this ridge up behind us and me and Nate are going to work a different direction. We did decide to split up, basically double up our chances. We both got tagged, so there's no sense of us sitting in the same spot all day. So we're going to go for a walk and we're going to meet up later. Alright guys, our last evening here, you guys pretty much saw how the morning went, we didn't really see any deer, so I didn't feel like recording myself walking to the woods for you guys, so we're heading out for our last evening of a hunt, we're going up, way up the mountain behind me, so we got a hell of a track this afternoon, but that's the plan for this evening, we're going to get up there and hopefully find a nice big buck up there, we'll see, either way we're going to get a good workout, so These mounds will remind you how out of shape we are in our daily lives in the city. Nothing I'd rather be doing right now though. We got a pretty simple plan. We're just gonna glass and glass some more. Guys, the views up here are just gorgeous. I mean, I'd come up here just to see this. Hunting's just a benefit. In my short little existence on this earth, I've been fortunate to spend a lot of time in the mountains. Only few have made an impact on me as much as these ones. Their ruggedness, unforgetfulness, 
and this undescribable burning desire inside me just to see what's over the next ridge was all topped off with burning legs, friendship, and camp stories we will not forget for many years to come. Small? What's up? You think we deserve these mountain houses? No, but we're gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys, we're going to pull tonight. It's our last night here, so we're just gonna feast on as much food as we can that we have left. So we don't have to pack any of it out tomorrow. Tonight's choice for me is beef stroganoff, one of my favorites. guys it is the last and final morning I think um, I think sun's just rising so the boys already got out and started glassing so I think I'm gonna go join them Well, boys and girls, as I like to say, all do things do have to come to an end, and unfortunately, so does it, this adventure. Basically, woke up today, did a little bit of glassing. It is our last day for High Country Bucks, so we're hoping we can spot one and make one last move on up for Samong here, but it wasn't meant to be. Nevertheless, we had absolutely a wonderful time enjoying and exploring this country right here. I'm definitely addicted. It's my first time doing this kind of a high country buck hunt and I'm definitely hooked now. Um, I'll definitely be back to do this again. Hopefully all of us can come back and do this next year, this kind of plan, but... Nevertheless, you guys, we do have to get packed up and head back to reality. So we're kind of packing up our packs in our tent right now. We're going to be heading out. That being said, you guys, as always, thank you for joining us on this adventure. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next adventure.